Grace, welcome back this January 2015. Happy New Year. I'm just there. Uh, the wine's finished fermenting now, so we're just in the process of cleaning it up. What, what we do is we separate the, the wine from the must. Uh, top tape, use a sip. Makes life a little bit easier when you siphon and you pull a bit off. That's uh, no good. What you find is that in this vessel will probably be about over here, it will be full of spent yeast, the old crushed fruits, and uh, we we'll just want to separate that and clean it up. Um, that vessel is obviously the same size as the one I'm doing now. That's the amount of waste I got, which I would say is about half a gallon, and that, that's basically your spent yeast. Uh, your old sugars that have been stretched and um, pips and all sorts don't want that in your wine, you want it nice and clean but as it happens just, just by separating it now that's what I managed to pour off earlier on which is fairly clean there's a few bits still in it but uh, you know for the first time rack and it's not bad uh, at the moment smells good, tastes great really really happy with it this year very happy indeed um, at this stage now what we want to do is you want for every gallon of wine that you've made you want to add um, one competent tablet and th this will basically it will um, keeps the wine safe it stops any nasty bacteria it also keep, uh, stabilizes the wine and it also prevents the oxidization of wine which will keep it a nice color and keep it the same throughout you know uh, after that stage, I would normally crush the tablets in pestle and more, or add them, leave it a little bit to sink in, and then you move on to your wine finings. You add part A, stir it in, that's important, stir it in, and then after an hour has passed by, you add part B. And basically, this will drag anything left that's in there, even just like the smallest sort of um, amount of waste will come down and settle. I mean, it'll be nowhere near the amount that we've got there. Just talking a very little bit, but it's that little bit that makes all the difference in the quality of your wine. Uh, I would say that's about it, really. Oh, another thing is that um, now that we've finished fermenting, we can take it out of a warm living room and put it into somewhere cold, cool, like the wine cellar that I haven't got. So I'll just be using my garage for that. Um, they do recommend that you start off storing it in big, big vessels and that, that just gives it a better depth and that it just stores better that way. But um, you will find as well that the taste will actually improve a little bit as it ages. Uh, and that's about it basically. Like So, you know, considering we're not clear yet and we haven't quite finished, I've already got a crack in wine. I mean, at the moment it would be a little bit unsafe to drink, but I'm going to try it anyway and I know it tastes will be so. There's no more I can say about it than a uh, happy new year. <laughs> Enough.